You ever be swimming in the pool? No, oh boy. <laughs> and there's and there's hella debris floating around the pool. And, you know, you're in the pool with your girl. So I, I was swimming around the other night with my girlfriend. It was pitch black. Mm-hmm. And we even turned the, the pool lights off. So it was just a, the light of the mm, moon. Yeah, and luminescent. Yeah, it was just like a nice, like, little sexy scene. We're swimming around. And, and there's some debris. Because the pool cleaner, he ain't been coming as much as he used to come. Yeah, COVID. And, uh... There's just, you know, leaves here. There's, I think there's like even a yoo box in one spot. Nice. And I see this leaf and I, I pick it up by the stem that comes off the leaf. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, here you go. And I huck it at Amara and I go, look out, baby, a rat like that. And she's like, she goes ah! and starts screaming. I'm laughing at her looking. I could just make her face out. And I go, babe, chill the fuck out. It's a leaf. She looks, she's looking down at the leaf that I threw her and she goes, no, it's not, it's a fucking rat. Subconsciously in my mind, I knew that I was picking a rat up, a dead, floating, (laughs) bloated animal from the pool by its tail, not the stem of the leaf. And hucking at, at her face, bro. Do a fucking rat at his girlfriend. A fucking dead so rat, bro. Now there's two people that have had rats on their rat Bro, house, no, I'm okay? telling you, this this house. <laughs> no, because me too. We've all had rat problems. This house has a lot of rats running around. She, Hannah, Hannah, Jeff's uh, baby mama said that it was the it's the vines on the house. They like to oh really live in the oh, entangled. She them goes, right she goes, entangled. We have to do something about it. I go, yeah, I'm gonna do something about it. I'm getting out the pool and I'm going in the motherfucking house. So I'm never do, looking back. How and she did goes, you not know? She Mike. wouldn't let it happen. So then she fucking names it. First step of failure. Now it's got a name. You go out there and you bury Jerry. She properly. named it Jerry. No. So I, oh, so I, worst. so I go out. No. I look at it. He's just floating there, all docile, but he's not having a good time. Clearly, he wants a proper burial. So I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" She goes, "Go, go ahead. Like, let's handle this." So she comes out. I go in the backyard. I fucking dig a hole. First hole I dig, I hit a pipe in the backyard. So I'm like, "Fuck, can't bury him here." So I have to dig bro, another. How fucking, deep are you, bro? It's a, I, you know, bro, how deep are you going? Broly's gonna dig him up. How deep are you going? 30, 40 feet. I would say I brought out the fucking auger. I had the fucking the post hole. Not digger. the auger. <laughs> the auger. So I'm digging this hole, and you know we lay him in there, and she goes, "Goodbye, Jerry." And I go, "Cause by the way, he was it was a mouse, not a rat." And so like you oh. have a little bit more respect for the animals. Yeah. It was a mouse, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, "Do you want to say like how does this work?" So I've never ba- personally buried an animal before. Ever? No. And it was so it was a learning Did experience for me. And, and, yeah, and I said, "Should we say a few words?" I said, "You know." Lord, please, you know, accept Jerry into your kingdom. Um, he was a good animal. And honestly, I don't know if he was a good animal. He could have been a selling cabinets for Wayfair. I don't fucking know, <laughs> dude. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Uh, and so I so I dig this hole and I bury him. And, and, and at the end of it, I put the dirt on him lightly. And then I was like, bro, he's going to dig this up. I was trying to be so respectful. But then I started smashing the dirt. With, oh. She's like, you can't do that to Jerry. <laughs> 